Guys, welcome. Crown Tundra is so close. I can smell it. I can feel it with my fingertips. I'm excited to get my hands on that and get into the game. There's going to be some good stuff there. We're going to get at least a couple of weeks of play out of that as well, including the Dynamax Adventures with you guys. We're going to live stream on my channel too, so we can all get the legendary stuff together. That's going to be fun. But guys, in this video, we're going to talk about all the Pokemon that are coming back in Crown Tundra, the returning Pokemon. All of them. The entire Crown Tundra decks. We're also going to talk about all the Pokemon that have been excluded from Pokemon Sword and Shield, Isle of Armor, and Crown Tundra all combined. There's only a few Pokemon that have just not made the cut whatsoever in any of these games, the base game or the DLCs. And we're going to have a look at that because it's been nicely laid out in a nice little table for us. Before we get into that, guys, just a quick note on a recent, I suppose, fake leak, guys. This one is definitely gets an A for creativity because it tries to play on a new spin about having played the Crown Tundra base. Beta. No one's tried this one before, but guys, this is actually a fake leak, all right? It's, it's playing off of old leaks and old information that has been confirmed that we do have. Feel free to have a look at the text here that I'm showing on screen in your own time as you wish. We're not going to go through it because it is definitely a fake leak. It is also it has been uploaded to 4chan and it has been removed as all fake leaks are, even from 4chan, yes. <laughs> and anyway, the first person to cover this that I saw was actually uh, Mudkip Memo, who does really great work keeping on top of all the potential leaks and stuff like that for Pokemon, although not dipping, not tipping toeing around the possibility of them being real, just straight up just giving you the information that is being put out there, and uh, no, no pretenses. So anyway, he covered this five days ago about the Crown Tundra beta right here in this video from a 4chan post, guys, and I think some people are still trying to do videos on it, but anyway, let's just go ahead and confirm it as fake, because it does use information that we've already had, in fact, information that we here on this channel have covered over three months ago about Fusion with Calyrex. So yes, we are going to be getting two new Pokemon that have not been unveiled, such as two sort of ho horse style Pokemon that are going to combine with Calyrex to turn into another Pokemon. Similar to what we have with Necroza, Soldaleo, and Lunala, okay? Uh, that is exactly what we're getting in the Crown Tundra. Now, they haven't been shown, they haven't been spoiled at all in any sort of format, or not even from data mines. Only code names, which have been evidenced right here in this old tweet from a while ago. Uh, it's, it's there. Anyway, we have Hakuba, Kokuba and Kuraon, which is Calyrex, okay? So that's those two guys. They're the two potential fusions with with Calyrex. These two before it, guys, are the new Regis, most likely, okay? And this is data mine stuff from a long time ago. So, from all the Crown Tundra footage, all the Crown Tundra trailers that we've been fed so far, and all the information, we've managed to come up with a list that Cerebi has calculated carefully to see what Pokemon have been confirmed shown coming in all the DLCs, including the Crown Tundra, okay? So, there's been quite a few. There's quite a few that we have already, but we do not have all of them. Now, as we know, the actual actual official website tells us there's going to be over 100 Pokemon returning, just like they said with Isle of Armor. That means not exactly 100, over 100, so we don't have an exact number of Pokemon to expect that are going to be arriving. But luckily for the power of technology and data mining, we have an exact number. Austin John recently did a little video showing 78 of the 100 confirmed returning, going through the list that Cerebi has made uh, as well, uh, just showing all the, all the evidence of the Pokemon that we've seen. But actually, Actually, there's been a different source. This is a list of all the Pokemon returning in the Crown Tundra decks, excluding the new Pokemon. Now, if we consider the Galarian Birds, guys, the Gen 1 Galarian Birds are going to be kept included in these three. They're just going to be the same Pokedex entries, just a different a different form, okay? Just like all the other Pokemon. We also have new, Re well, they have the old Regis coming back too, and we also have two new Regis, so they're not overlapping in any way, guys. But also, Regigigas is making a turn too, and these are the Ultra Beasts all here, guys. We have gone through this before. We've gone Genesect here too, notable mentions, Zygarde we've seen in the trailer recently, and these three bad boys too. The, the Hoenn starters, and the legendaries too, guys. And another notable collection also are the Gen 1 fossils. We're interested in seeing how they'll actually come out in the game, how we'll actually get them. I did have a couple of theories about that in other videos, about the underground system being sort of similar to Gen 4. Does not really look to be the case, however, it's not all lost yet in that. It could be still a little bit of explorability in the underneath caves to get like amber and stuff mining down there that could be that could be pretty cool well we'll see like guardians down here too and Garchomp, a very big favorite. But guys, we have gone through this dex quite a few times. This is all the returning Pokemon. This makes 119 returning Pokemon, folks. So, 
Get your balls ready. This is the lesser seen list. This is all the Pokemon not making the cut at all in Crown Tundra, in Isle of Armor, in Sword and Shield base game. All the Pokemon we will not be able to catch. Now, as you can see, guys, it's not that much. It's really not. So we might possibly get a free update somewhere down the line, possibly next year, that will just add the rest of them in. That's not a lot of work for Game Freak. They have definitely got the means, the abilities to do this. And just take a look. You got all the other starters there, except for the, the, the three that we showed you in the previous one. So we're only getting another set of starters back. So we're only gonna have three sets of starters in the game. Now, interestingly enough, guys, Arceus is included in this list. And as all evidence shows at the moment, Arceus is not coming back in the game. However, there are little nods, little hints towards its possible inclusion in the game at some point, such as Judgment, the move being fully animated and available in the game, as well as all the Arceus plates being in the game despite the actual only one, the fairy one, only being available legitimately to get tr in the actual gameplay. The rest can be hacked in, but they are fully functional and fully animated items in the game. They're already there, they're programmed in, along with the move, which you can't get. So, it's quite a nod towards a possible event drop for Arceus somewhere in the future, guys. But like I said, all of these Pokémon have the potential to return if Game Freak does a little bit of extra work on doing that and gives us a ma major, major massive surprise, sort of just like a free drop, free update, because I don't think they'd expect anyone to pay for an update for just these extra Pokémon. And I honestly, I don't think there's going to be a third DLC. There's not. I mean, we just have to be realistic, there's not going to be a third story-based DLC. The only possible form of a DLC would be this, the addition of these Pokemon right here. So take a good look, fellas. Cry your tears now as your favorite Pokemon are not making the cut, possibly forever. It's very possible. <laughs> and we'll see what they do next. We'll see what their next move is after the Crown Tundra. So guys, that's it from us today. I hope you enjoyed checking out all the returning Pokemon into the Crown Thunder coming very soon. 119, folks, is going to be the Dex, uh, or at least, sorry, the, actually the Dex might be a little more than that if we include the new Pokemon that have not been announced yet, and, and including the Regis too. So, guys, let's get out there, let's get ready, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay on top of all of the news, all of the real news, guys, and we also tend to debunk fake leaks here and there, just as you guys might need them, just so there's no no confusion, no misleading stuff, I'm giving you all the facts guys. The fake leaks have been deleted from 4chan a few days after they're posted. That is just indisputable proof, as well as them showing the information that we actually already have and trying to play it off as having played the beta guys. We're only a little few days away, it's right out, it's coming very soon. I hope you guys are ready and I hope you guys check it out when we play it here. Thanks for coming, have a good day, have a good night, I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye!